Welcome to Eurodrama! I'm Hannes. I'm Albert. And today we're gonna review Eden Aleni's Eurovision song. So it's Set Me Free that will go to Eurovision 2021 for Israel. So, Albert, what did you think about uh, Eden Aleni's song from last year? Fukur Lubi. Fukur Lubi. So, well, I think it was a cool song. What I liked the most about uh, last year's entry was her straight stage presence and her voice, which was very, very on point. Mm -hmm. The song itself it wasn't bad. Uh, it wasn't in my top 10 either, mm -hmm. but yeah, I liked it. I think it was fun. Yeah, I think it was a, a fun song as well. And I think it was cool that she combined like Hebrew, Arabic, then this Ethiopian language and English, like all in this like kind of ethnic, uh, like mm -hmm. ethnic influenced song. Which was cool. Um, I'm not sure if it would have been like a sure qualifier last year. Uh, yeah. Would have depended a lot on her performance. So uh, yeah, we, yeah, we have to remember the last year it was a very strong year. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't celebrate it mm -hmm. the way we wanted. But yeah. it's true that the the song itself needed maybe something more. No, it was very well like received in mm -hmm. the beginning, but then in the charts it was like. Yeah, so so. If I remember correctly as well, like she was in the first semi final and that was like one of the hardest yeah. semi finals with a lot of good songs. So that's also like what made it a bit harder for her yeah. like, to qualify. So let's see if this year she can top that. Let's see. Um, I don't know about the expectations because I read like mixed reviews about this song. Apparently, they didn't choose like the. The proper song because they had she had better ones, mm -hmm. but you never know. Maybe we will love it. Maybe we will not. Yeah, I heard this was like the least like there were like three songs in this national final, and this was like the number three of like the the fans, let's say. So uh, yeah, All right. I'm, I'm curious what how it will sound like. All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. All right. Okay, nice makeup. <laughs> All right. Interesting beginning, like very different from Fukuro Lubi. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can listen to this Arabic, like yeah. Eastern sounds. Not a bad start. No, I like it. Expecting something else. But yeah, if people were expecting something like a girl living. Yeah. It was Arabic, right? Or maybe Hebrew. Right? Okay. No I'm not really sure if this is really her style though. Like, no, I don't think so either. It sounds more like a generic song. And you, you can listen like to this Korean sound. Like, pa, 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 pa. Yeah, that's it real. That's it real, I think. It's nice, but so far it doesn't really do that much mm. for me. Yeah, I couldn't like identify the parts of the song right now, I'm lost. And also not that much is happening in this song. Okay, wait. But her voice is. I'm sure she can uh -huh. do that live, for, for sure. Mm. 
And that's it. And that's it. Hmm. All right. Start. You can start. Okay, so few opinions about this song yeah. because yeah, I think it was the message is interesting, but I think that we will see this message in every single song, or maybe not every single song, but in many songs this mm -hmm. year. It's about like getting like out or living this nightmare we are yeah. in right now. So I guess that uh, she wants to transmit this message, you know, that uh, we want to set ourselves free, you know, like mm -hmm. to, to get out of this nightmare and yeah. be normal again. Uh, regarding the song, uh, I got lost. I got lost yeah. in the middle of it because I, I think it's nice. I was expecting something much worse because mm -hmm. after reading all the comments, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm not impressed either. Yeah, like the production of the song, it was like it's a really good production of, uh, in the song. But what I was missing a bit was like the like the Ethiopian flavor a bit in like you had we had this in Fukar the Bee, but mm -hmm. like I was kind of missing it here. So I was yeah kind of missing her own like shroom to uh, to the mm -hmm. song. But as you said, it's it's not a bad song. I was also expecting no. way worse. Yeah, me too. It's uh, really well produced. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure like we listen to it now for the first time. If I like in 10 minutes we'll still remember the melody of this song mm -hmm. so and that might be a problem as well um, but like in this video her styling was on point so I think in Eurovision uh, she will look great as well um, I'm sure she can bring a show um, but yeah the song itself it was it didn't do that much I, I would also me. like to see like or to listen to the other songs because people said they were much better Even there was a song, I cannot remember now the name of it, but uh, it wasn't qualified for the like big, big final mm. of the three songs. So I think we should listen to the rest and have an opinion because people were complaining a lot about this, about choosing like the worst among like mm. other songs. But yeah, I'm, I don't know. I, I think I liked it. Yeah, I liked it too, but not much more than that. Yeah. So if you had to translate that into points out of 10, how much would you give this? So I'm going to give it a six. A six? Yeah. I am in between giving it a 5.5 or a six, but I think I will go for a 5.5. I'm sorry. <laughs> This time I'm the nice one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So this has been our reaction. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. And please subscribe to our channel. More please, subscribers. Yeah, more subscribers <laughs> really. And if you want us to react to any national final song, uh, please write it down in the comments and we might react to it. And see you next day in Eurodrama!